The 36-year-old Narang, who also claimed bronze at the 2010 World Shooting Championships, is helping refine the national shooting team, which has been under his guidance for a week now, saying that the squad had the ability to perform well at the Africa qualifiers. Uh, we are really preparing and we are ready for it. We can't actually wait because it's an Olympic qualifier for the 2020 Tokyo uh, Olympics. <coughs> and with the coaching that we've been having, I can say confidently that probably um, about half of us or even more will make it for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. So we are still exploring opportunity. This is my first uh, time here. I have uh, in the last uh, four days that I have been here, I have been seeing a lot of uh, potential in the current Kenyan shooters. I, I am also here to kind of help them uh, reach their true potential for the upcoming uh, African Championships, which is the qualification for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Kenya Shooting Sports Federation Chairman Shwaib Vayani said they are also engaging the multiple Olympic Games gold medalist on their plan to roll out youth development program countrywide. With the partnership, uh, we have invited the government to come and assess and help Kenya to start off what India was 20 years ago. And because India has been a successful model, it is now top three in the world in shooting. And now we would like to take this role model and platform and to understand how India succeeded and what we can do in Kenya in partnership between the two two countries in long term and short term. Among the shooters who will be gunning for the Olympic slots are 2015 Africa champion Gulraj Semi, Idris Kasmani, David Kirui, Christopher Saina, Maurice Morara and Francis Kinua who will seek honors in the men's 10 meters air pistol category, while Linus Owiti, Marianne Cheriot, Dorian Okiri and Jen Wanjiru will compete in the women's category. As much as possible, what we've been doing is coming to the range every Tuesday and Thursday afternoons. Obviously because we have to go to work as well, so I've taken some time off just for the training. The team is expected to depart for the games next week. Masi Kuloba for Channel One Sports.